It's fair to say Mitsubishi kind of bounces around the fringe of the auto business. So let's go for a ride in this, the Outlander XLS V6, and find out what sets this company apart, if anything. Now our little Outlander's kind of like a Thomas's English muffin, lots of nooks and crannies. You of course have a standard glove box here, you've got this sort of peaky boo upper glove box, then you've got this giant thing up on top of the dash, and of course you've got a binnacle here, and you got one down here in the console. If you can't stash it in this car, you have no right to be trying to con customs. Now we have a upgraded but not the big kahuna head unit in our Outlander, so we're a little starved of tech, but the package we have brings us Rockford Fosgate Audio, Lane Guidance Technology, and a sunroof. Not really related, but it's a pretty well-priced package. More on that later. Our Rockford Fosgate system has a six-disc in-dash changer, CD and MP3 discs. You've obviously got satellite radio going on here. Uh, AM, FM, no HD radio, no iPod adapter, a 650-watt backbone behind it, nine speakers, including a very obvious 10-inch sub in the back with a punch level that really does what it says. This system can get real bass-heavy or tubby, depending how you like that kind of sound, real quick. Kind of sparse, though, on the other sources. There's no USB drive, no iPod adapter, as I mentioned. We've got 115 volt, in other words, a standard wall outlet down here in the console. That's also part of an upgraded package. Oddly enough, when you upgrade, you forego an aux jack, which the base stereo, which has far less power and speakers, does have. We've got our buttons over here for Bluetooth hands-free. That is standard on the Outlander in this trim level, the XLS. If you do upgrade the Outlander, you get a head unit that is rather interesting. 40 gig hard drive based nav and audio system with a 7 inch touchscreen. Now some of that hard drive space is reserved for you to use as a music server and the system will play DVDs on the front screen when parked. Powering an Outlander in XLS trim is a 3 liter V6. 220 horsepower and 204 foot pounds of torque are on hand. Not the creamiest engine you've ever piloted, but not bad. The only transmission choice is a 6 speed automatic Sportronic. That means it has a shift gate on the stick and some rather fancy magnesium paddles that are blessedly mounted on the steering column where they belong, not on the wheel. Apparently Mitsubishi's rally heritage pays off here. In front-wheel drive configuration, an Outlander XLS delivers 1725 miles per gallon. Shave off one MPG from the highway number if you get all-wheel drive. Okay, let's price our XLS V6. Our guys are front-wheel drive, so about 26,000, a little less with destination. Add 1400 for all-wheel drive. Now, to get the Rockford Fosgate system we have, which comes with the glass sunroof and a package, that's about $1,600. To get the navigation package that includes rear view camera and lane guidance technology, a little under $2,000. Sirius can be had a la carte for $335. Also a la carte rear seat entertainment for about $1,750.